One of the greatest benefits of Logos is the amount of time you'll save in your sermon prep or lesson prep using custom layouts that fit your workflow. For example, I can create a layout that lets me read my English text alongside my favorite study Bible. You'll notice in this layout, I've linked my study Bible notes to my English text so that they'll scroll together. This gives me access to commentary notes on any given passage in the Bible. In addition, layouts allow me to get all of the information I want faster. In this video, I'll build a layout from scratch, then demonstrate what we can do with this layout. First, I want to open up English versions of the Bible that I want to read and compare. I want a formal equivalent translation side by side with a dynamic equivalent. So I'm going to open up the LEB, then open up the NIV by going to the command bar and inputting the abbreviation for each version. Then I'll position the resources side by side. Next, I'll link the two texts together. Now when I jump to a text like John 143 in the LEB, the NIV follows along. Finally, I want to open up the NA28 Greek edition and then link this resource like the others. Now one of the things we want to accomplish with this layout is to study specific words of interest. To do this, I'm going to open up the fact book, then a favorite Bible dictionary, along with a Greek lexicon, and then place them all on the same panel. These tools and text are going to allow me to study English terms, Bible concepts, and Greek lemmas. Now I can double click a term in the LEB and see it defined in the Lexham Bible Dictionary. Or I can double click a term in the NA28 and jump straight to that entry in BDAG. As a final step, I want to open up the Bible Word Study Guide in the lower left panel. This will allow me to input an English term and see the original language terms behind it, or input a Greek term and see how it's rendered throughout the New Testament. The Bible Word Study Guide also allows us to expose alternate meanings for Greek and Hebrew words and shows me how these Greek terms are used in the Septuagint. Finally, I want to add a passage guide to the same panel. This is going to give me access to all of my commentaries, journal articles, and sermon collections. Now, when I'm reading through a text like John 1.43 through 51, I can first compare English translations. Notice that the LEB says that Jesus wanted to depart from Galilee, while the NIV says that he decided to leave. I can also double click on this term in the NA28 and see it defined in BDAG, or enter a term of interest into the Bible Word Study Guide and see how this term is rendered throughout the New Testament. I can also click on an unfamiliar place or concept and see this defined in my favorite Bible dictionary or go a step further and enter the term into the fact book. This layout also allows me to consult commentaries to gain insight or test my findings against other trusted scholars. Finally, I can browse relevant sermons to round out my points of application. This section of the passage guide is going to show me hits from my sermon collections, which I can open with just a click. Now I can save this layout by clicking on the icon in the top right. Choose to save this layout as a named layout, give it a name that I'll remember, and then come back to it again and again.